if you look at the likes of Avalanche, this is Avalanche right here. I believe all time high above, you know, $100. This is Avalanche right here, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. All time high, 130, 150 bucks right here. So Avalanche has basically, has basically gave back, you know, all the gains from the last three years, right? You have a project about two years ago that was trading at $150 and it is now at $8. So if you were bullish on Avalanche, are these levels right here, you know, based on the fundamentals and the price is right down here around $8, you know, if you're not accumulating, you know, if you're not picking up positions right here, then the way you are approaching this market is the wrong way, okay? You are not approaching the market the right way. The right way to approach the market is this. You've done your research. You understand the fundamentals. And you believe in the fundamentals. If the price goes lower, you add on to your position. Now, if the fundamentals change, right? So if the fundamentals of Avalanche have changed, and there is absolutely no reason to get into a position. But if the fundamentals, right, if the fundamentals that drove you to this project in 2020 and in 2021 are still the same or have improved, if you're not getting in right here, then I don't know exactly when you are going to get in. Like if you're not getting in at the current price, I want you to take a look at what you're looking at you know, in terms of you know, if we get back to the old time high, you know, what kind of returns that you actually looking at from the current price all the way up to the old time high of $150. You know, you're looking at a 13 X. And again, we are talking about once we retest, the all time high. Anything above the all time high, you know, if we go to $200, you know, you're looking out, this is a 20X right here. If we get above $200, I mean, you're pushing towards, you know, a 30X. So I want you guys to take a look at, you know, the opportunities that you got right here with a lot of these projects. Uh, Yes, you know, the environment is completely different than the one from 2020 and 2021. But just like, you know, the environment in 2017 was completely different than the one in 2020 and 2021, you know, 2024 and 2025, the environment is also going to be different. But I can't help to notice that we do have you know incredible opportunities in this market and that a lot of these projects you know the ones that are legit the ones with you know fundamentals are you know are, are really trading at an incredible valuation right now like i don't want to be a buyer at these levels right here i want to be a buyer right here and i'm going to show you exactly when the bull market is going to kick off for avalanche once Avalanche, you know, breaks above $45, this is the beginning of the bull market for Avalanche. Because this right here, you know, anywhere below $45, like this is a bear market for this project. But once we break above $45, I'm going to show you exactly what you're looking at. You know, from $45, we are going to double. We're going to push all the way up to $82. From $82, we are going to do another gray move all the way up to $102. From $102, we are going to do another incredible move, you know, all the way up to $130. Now, these targets that I'm showing you are not until late 2024 and early 2025. And in fact, 
you may not get an $80 avalanche until early 2025. So in 2024, you get a $45 avalanche. So basically, we start to break to the upside in early 2024, you know, sometimes spring 2024. Uh, towards the last two quarters of 2024, so Q3, Q4, uh, we finally break above, you know, $45. Uh, maybe we spent a couple of times right here, you know, building a very solid foundation right here, a uh, very solid support right here. And then, you know, late 2024, we finally break above, you know, $45. And in early 2025, we get an $80 avalanche. So this is all going to take some time. But the big winners are the people that get in right here. Because by the time, you know, we get to $45, you're already up 400%. By the time we get to $80, you're already up 800%. By the time we get to over a hundred bucks, you're already up a 10 X. And right here, you know, at these levels, you know, your strategy is no longer to accumulate. It is to take profits. Okay. So those that got in early are taking profits. You have the late buyers, you know, the people that are coming in right here are the people that are going to, you know, maybe, you know, double their investments or, you know, get a 50% move on their investments. And then you get the people that come in right up here. And these are going to be the exit liquidity. So anybody that's going to come in around $150, you know, these are the people you're dumping on. You know, you're dumping on these investors right here. Because you got in right here, you're taking profits. These people right here are hoping for a $500 avalanche so they can double or triple their investments. When the price of avalanche is right here, I guarantee you, you know, I guarantee you on YouTube price targets, you are going to see $300, $400, $500, $1,000. I guarantee you guys, you know, when the price is at $150 and these guys that come in, in the market, these are the guys that have no idea what's going on. These are the guys who didn't go through any of this pain right here. And they're hoping that we go from $150 all the way up to, you know, $500. And the people that got in early right here, you know, they realize that this is no longer, you know, sustainable. And they take all of their profits. And as they take profits, because the most liquidity is right down here. So when these people are cashing out, you know, we run out of buyers at these levels because, you know, the market is way too extended. And because if you are a smart investor and something is up, you know, 20x in a very short period of time, this is not a time to go long. This is a time to go short. All right. This is a time you're shorting the project. So the lay buyers that are hoping that we go into $500 are the exit liquidity. So we make money from down these levels all the way up. And these people right here, and in fact, the people that made money on the way up are the same people that are shorting the project. So these people right here, they get to make money when the project is crashing. And this right here is in 2026. All right? I want to make sure you guys understand exactly, exactly, what 2024 and 2025 is more likely to look like.